Hi everybody. Okay, so I'm doing another video I wasn't planning on doing. Um, I was in Zoom and I, I was showing the ladies, I says, I got my, my winnings up and I, I won at a giveaway. And they said, do a video, do a video. And I said, no, I'm not going to do a video, I'm not going to do a video. And Laura says, the Mad Beanie's crochet and farming, I double dog dare you. <sighs> well, I knew that was coming because I did double dog dare Laura to do a video with Kleenex stuck up her nostril, which she did. So I should, I knew something, like, I knew a double dog dare was coming my way. And I should be thankful that she didn't double dog dare me to do the video with a Kleenex stuck up my nostril. So anyways, I had a, um, Marianne the Crotchety Clogger had a giveaway and, and she had four bundles of yarn that she gave away. And one of them was a Christmas bundle, which was my favorite. And that's the one I won. I was so excited. She had this set set in this bag that was cleverly all folded up and she put a shipping label on it. And um, I didn't realize it was a tote bag. I thought it was going to be And I did the scissors and I cut the end off and I started pulling the yarn out. And it wasn't until all the yarn and stuff was out that I saw these strips in, in, folded in there somehow. And I went, is this a tote bag? So I took off all the tape, and sure enough, it was a new tote bag, and it's a nice, good size for a blanket and everything, so I'm going to take that up, and I'll be fine. So the yarn. Got me some green. I love this yarn. Um, you know, it's, it's acrylic, 100% acrylic, 355 yards, full weight. Green, and some red, some colors, and some green sparkle. And some red sparkle. I've never had sparkle yarn before, so this is cool. And variegated in Christmas. This is Christmas. This is colorway is jelly bean, and this colorway is red. So thank you so much, Marianne. I really appreciate this. I had to figure out something Christmassy to make with this. And she also got a little letter in the mailbox too. And she says, I forgot to enclose these in your package. Enjoy. And she sent me her own word search thing that she made up. A word search and a crossword puzzle. So I was excited to get these. I was going to email her for it. So she sent it to me. So this is nice. So I can have something to do. And um, oh yeah, and it came with a card. And a Christmas card. So this hey 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 Lynn, congrats. This is a Christmas bundle. I thought a Christmas card would be appropriate. Well shoot, I didn't think of a Christmas bag. Well, that's when I figured out. Read this a little more carefully. <laughs> anyway, I'm really happy Mama Swift got you to push that button. Love seeing you and learning more about you. All my love, Mary. So thank you so so much, Mary Ann. This was um some of you saw Laura's um, video with the um, her her first ever Tunisian washcloth that she made that came out kind of wonky. Well, I had I did my first Tunisian washcloth too, and <laughs> mine came out wonky too. The ends just went kind of I don't know I don't know what I did. And this one, even even the beginning one it, it kind of started out and then somehow I lost stitches. Or if I started out this way, gain stitches. I don't know which way it went, but <laughs> other than that, it didn't come out too bad. Had a couple of holes, but that's okay. You can't even see it from here, but there's a hole here, and one here. But it's a washcloth. I I do one single crocheted around it, and it still curls, but that's okay. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like Tunisian or not. <laughs> Um, Laura did hers in a different stitch, though. She, I think it was a knit stitch or something. This was just a simple stitch. So maybe I should try different stitches. I don't know. Um, I know she got a nice, cool Tunisian hook set. And um, Lynette did, too. It was Sharon Grammy Crochet. got a nice Tunisian. I got, I just I got one. And I'm still not certain. Okay. Oh, Six point five. So I've got this one hook that I've been using. 
So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it enough to buy some Tunisian, some Tunisian hooks or not. I'll, we'll see. I'll have to do some more practicing and see if <laughs> see if I like it or not. It's kind of odd using such a big long hook. Um, so that's it. Um, I did it, Laura, and I will not be double dog daring her ever again. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.